Hey, what's happening, everyone? Today I'm going to talk about ending all the fun I was having in the gym the last couple of weeks, or what I would like to call a test phase of sorts. So I've been moving, and because of the logistics of such a life-changing event, you can't really have a very good, consistent training cycle. So I feel the best way to take advantage of this time, the most optimal way to be as advantageous in the gym is to test yourself and it kind of sounds counterproductive but knowing that this period of my life was ahead of me I had worked myself up into a small peaking phase for my squat and something similar for my bench and not so much for my deadlift had a little bit of lower back fatigue and uh, some very minor lower back pain these last couple of months, so I didn't want to push the deadlift too hard. So, come these last couple of weeks, I hit that 500 high bar squat, and after that, it has just been a serious, fun party of lifting. It's been a blast because I've done a lot of things these last couple of weeks that I hadn't done before, and it's not that they're huge PRs, but they're PRs which help me establish a baseline for my performance and if you can establish a baseline of where you're at it's going to give you a better idea of realistic places to go to so a lot of times when people are planning their training cycles they're kind of thinking about where they want to be at versus kind of thinking where they're currently at and where they can go to and it sounds like a very similar concept it sounds like I'm saying the same thing but really the idea is a little bit different if you have a really good idea of where you're at then planning your next couple of steps is a whole lot easier so I got that high bar squat as a new one rep max 500 pounds feel really good about it and then I've done a lot of other things with my squat like a whole bunch of different pause varieties singles across different intensities working with rep ranges across different intensities so I got a really good idea of where my performance is with the squat across a variety of movements as well um, I know my front squat has seriously tanked I've tried to do a couple of those and uh, even something in the low 300s is a difficult thing to hold, not necessarily to move. I need to work on my rack positioning. So during this period, I have really taken an opportunity to establish where I'm at training-wise because I'm really planning on blowing up the next couple of months and ideally hitting a 1,500-pound total at what weight class I haven't yet decided. 165 would be fun though. One last run at 165 would be pretty sweet. So after those squats, I moved on to deadlifts. I pulled five singles at this 495 here. Um, they weren't as clean as I wanted them to be. However, you know, I still got the work done. I need to get my conditioning up to speed. Who knows if this altitude has had an effect on that. So after the deadlifting, I moved on to bench. And the day before, I had worked up to uh, 345 single, pretty clean, uh, with my competition grip bench, then had done a bunch of other benching too. So I came into this benching session right here, at the end of this training session, extremely fatigued for this movement. The day before, I had really crushed myself in terms of both intensity and volume. And then I came in and I did the squatting and deadlifting beforehand. So I'm pretty tired by the time I got to this set here. I was shooting for this as my goal, believe it or not, 295 legs up in a very fatigued state, feeling very confident about my bench. I know that moving forward, I'll have a lot more rest, I'll have a lot more recovery. So 295 in the worst conditions is probably what I can do for bench. I've got an idea what I could do for squat and deadlift. Now I've got to dial in my planned training cycle, and by doing so, I can get to my reasonable goal a lot quicker and much safer. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.